Here's another example with the inclusion-exclusion principle. Uh, we want to find the numbers, so how many numbers there are in the range 0 up to 41 uh, that are co-prime with 42. Okay, so 42 is uh, 2 times 3 times 7. So a number's going to be co-prime with 42 if it's not divisible by 2, not divisible by 3, and not divisible by 7. So what we want to do, we want to take these 42 numbers here, we want to remove the num ones that are divisible by 2, remove the ones that are divisible by 3, and remove the ones that are divisible by 7, and see what's left. And uh, the uh, inclusion-exclusion principle uh, uh, tells us how to, how to count the number of those. So firstly, we need to see how many of these numbers are divisible by 2. And uh, yeah, we've got 42 numbers, and every, al you know, every alternate one is, is divisible by 2. So uh, uh, the numbers divisible by 2, we've listed them all here. The uh, how many of them are there? It's just going to be 42 over 2, which is 21. Uh, similarly, uh, if we want to uh, look at the numbers that are divisible by 3, um, yeah, we can list the numbers uh, 0 up to 41 in order. Every third one is divisible by 3. So the uh, number of uh, number of numbers that are divisible by 3 is just going to be 42 over 3, which is 14. Yeah, we've listed them here. We're going to write D3 for the set of numbers that are divisible by 3. Similarly, D7 is the set of numbers uh, in our range that are divisible by 7, and we can just list them here. There's kind of one in each row. Uh, every seventh number is divisible by 7, so uh, the total size of d7 is going to be 42 over 7, which is 6. You see, we can just see there's uh, 6 of these numbers here. <coughs> okay, but then for the inclusion exclusion principle, we don't just need to know the, the, um, uh, the size of d3, d, uh, d2, and d7, but we also need to know the size of their intersections. So let's look, say, at d2 intersect d3. Those are numbers that are divisible by 2 and also divisible by 3, which is the same as being divisible by 6. So every sixth number is divisible by 6, and so the size of this d6 uh, is 42 over 6, which is 7. And it's kind of the same if we look at numbers divisible by 14, or numbers divisible by 2 and by 7, so that's the same as being divisible by 14. Uh, and so the size of d14 is 42 over 14, which is 3. Uh, and similarly, uh, d21 has size 42 over 21, which is 2. And finally, if we want to look at the triple intersection, numbers divisible by three, 2 and 3 and 7, yeah, that's the same as being divisible by 42, uh, but, in, but our range stops at 41, so the only thing in this range that's divisible by 42 is, uh, is 0, uh, so d42 has size 1. <coughs> okay. So now we want to uh, count the uh, number of numbers that are co-prime uh, with 42, so that's, uh, that's the complement of d2 union d3 union d7. And uh, the inclusion-exclusion principle <coughs> tells us uh, that the size of this, we take uh, 42, and then we subtract off uh, sizes of all the uh, all the numbers, uh, all the sets d2, d3, d7. Then we add back in the sizes of the double intersections, and then we subtract off the size of the triple intersection. <coughs> uh, in terms of the picture, you know, uh, the uh, numbers with a red circle are divisible by 2, numbers with a green circle are divisible by 3, numbers with a blue circle are divisible by 7. Uh, so the numbers with some kind of circle, uh, those are the ones that are not co-prime with 42, and uh, we put a grey box around the remaining numbers that have no circle, those are the ones that are co-prime with 42, and just by counting we can see that there's 12 of them. Uh, but also if we look in terms of what the uh, inclusion-exclusion principle is telling us, um, so all of these remember uh, size of d2 is 42 over 2, size of d3 is 42 over 3, size of d14 is 42 over 14, etc. So we can take the 42 outside the brackets, and then inside the brackets you've got 1, and then minus a half, minus a third, minus a seventh, and then plus uh, yeah, 1 over 2 times 3, plus 1 over 2 times 7, plus 1 over 3 times 7, and minus 1 over 2 times 3 times 7. And if you think about it, uh, this, uh, this sum of 8 terms here, it can be factorized, uh, as what, uh, 1 minus a half, 1 minus a third, 1 minus a seventh. You see, when we expand this out, we get terms like uh, minus a half times minus a, a third, giving us this plus a sixth here, or the last term in the expansion, the minus a half, minus a third, minus a seventh, uh, ends up being minus 1 over 42, which is this last term here. So yeah, so this uh, expression here factors like this, 42 times 1 minus a half, 1 minus a third, 1 minus a seventh, and that's equal to 12.